going to make a crazy crust peach cobbler. And the reason that it's called a crazy crust peach cobbler is because of how the crust is made. So let's get started. We're going to start with a 29 ounce can of sliced peaches. And I am using a uh, Pampered Chef can opener because it cuts the can the lid away from the can so when you lift it off you don't have the sharp edges of the can so keep those tin shards and keep you from cutting yourself so we're going to pour the peaches in the pot and to that we're going to add a half cup of sugar and a half stick of butter I cut my butter in sections just so that it will melt a little faster. And then we will add cinnamon and nutmeg. The recipe calls for nutmeg to taste, but I like cinnamon in my peach cobbler, so I add cinnamon to taste as well. So the amount of cinnamon and nutmeg that you add will depend on how much um, you prefer and what you like. So we have a half stick of butter in the pot. And you heard the oven beep letting me know that it's been preheated to 325. And we will cook this until it is golden brown on top. Let's turn the heat on. A medium heat will be good and we're going to bring this, we're going to cook this until it starts to make a syrup. So this is a nutmeg. And then we're going to add ground cinnamon. I like cinnamon so I add a little bit more than um, one may normally add. Let's give that a quick stir and we'll just let it uh, cook here until it starts to uh, thicken up. The, the juice from the peaches starts to thicken. Okay, and now we'll move on to the crust. And this is why it is called a crazy crust. It is so simple to make. A cup of self-rising flour. You, you want to make sure that you use self-rising flour. So we measure one cup. I made it um, this recipe uh, about a year ago and it just wasn't turning out right and I kept wondering why is this not why is it not rising like it should? I couldn't get my crust to rise. And so I made it a couple of times and each time the crust would not rise. And, and I thought maybe I had some old flour. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. So I finally realized that I was using all purpose flour. So it is very important that you use self rising flour. And to the one cup of flour, we're going to add one cup of sugar. and one cup of milk. So I'm gonna stir this a little bit, get the sugar and flour mixed in, and then I'm going to pour in one cup of milk. We'll get this mixed Okay, so that's a cup of milk, a cup of sugar, and a cup of self-rising flour. And this is making the crazy crust. And you'll want to stir it until most of the lumps are gone.
I can smell the cinnamon heating. It smells delicious. Okay, the oven has reached 325. It's almost mixed. I think I have everything mixed well in there. And next, we're going to add a half stick of butter to a baking dish. And I'm using a, um, it is a, a two quart baking dish. You can, um, depending on you know, your recipe, you can double this easily. So if you wanna make more, you would certainly use a larger dish. pretty good so we're going to put that aside and now we're going to add a stick of butter to the baking dish put it in the oven and let the butter melt it'll take a few minutes for that to melt let's check the peaches As the butter melts and your cinnamon and nutmeg starts to dissolve, you can check to see uh, by tasting if you need to add more cinnamon or more nutmeg. You do not have to add both. I do because I like to add them both. So that is still melting. And I can tell just by how it looks that I'm going to have to add a little more cinnamon. But remember, this is to your individual taste. You do not have to use cinnamon. You do not have to use nutmeg. You can use them both or you can use one or the other. heat up just a little bit and bring that okay. butter's melting we're going to pause and let this cook and uh, start to form uh, that syrup that we're looking for the butter's going to um, continue to melt in the oven and we'll come right back let's check it and give it a stir And remember, we're looking forward to the syrup to thicken up. You see, it's still pretty thin, so we need to let it cook a little while longer. Stirring occasionally. Okay, and let's check the butter. It should be ready, and it is. So our butter's melted, we're just waiting for our peaches. Homemade pie crust can be tricky for me. Um, and so this peach cobbler, this crazy crust peach cobbler, uh, makes a perfect crust for a peach cobbler. And my favorite part of the peach cobbler is the crust, so I love the way this one uh, cooks up and the uh, flavor that's in this crust. And with uh, peach season coming, you can use uh, fresh peaches the same way, same recipe, and it will be delicious with fresh peaches. It's getting, a, it's getting thicker, but we need to let it cook a little while longer.
everything else is waiting for the peaches. I am going to taste it. To see if I need to add more nutmeg or cinnamon. going to add just a tiny bit more of cinnamon. The nutmeg is, is perfect, but I think I would like just a little bit more cinnamon. Don't forget to taste so you can get the right amount of cinnamon and nutmeg in yours as well. mixture is looking like it's just about ready to go in the pan. And you can see how the colors changed and that is from adding cinnamon. So I've been uh, tasting to make sure that the flavor was good as I've uh, as it's cooked, stirring occasionally. but I think it is ready to go in. So the next step is to pour your crust mixture in your pan. So pour that in. And now we're going to pour the peaches on top. Just pour them in. And I just I'm just adjusting a few of the peaches to make sure there's a peach in every spoonful and it's ready to go in the oven. It is going to bake at 325 until the crust is golden brown on top. So we're going to let that bake maybe 15, 20 minutes. We'll check it and see what it looks like. And if it's ready to come out, we'll take it out. If not, we'll let it cook a little longer. Okay, let's take a peek and see what's in the oven. Do you see how the crust has risen to the top? And that is why they call it a crazy crust peach cobbler. So we're going to close the door, keep that heat in, and let it finish cooking. Okay, we're back, and I think it is ready to come out of the oven, so let's go over here and take a look. Yes, look at that. It is ready. Bubbling. Looks good. Let's get it out. I checked it a little while ago and some of the juices were bubbling out of the sides and spilling over in the bottom of the oven. And you know what happens when you have something spill in the bottom of your oven. So I put a pan of water underneath the dish so that the drips would fall into the water to care of the problem. 
Well, here we have it, a crazy crust peach cobbler. Looks yum, looks delicious. You see how the crust has risen to the top? So all of your peaches and all that delicious juice is at the bottom. Let's cut into it. Grab a spoon. I have a bowl here, and we're going to go for this corner right here. And I want to show you the crust on this. So look at that. If you are a crust eater from a peach cobbler, look at all of that yummy, delicious crust. Tender peaches. And I don't know about you, but I love to have a little bit of ice cream with my peach cobbler. So I'm going to go to the freezer and get out some ice cream. Okay, we have ice cream. So we're going to have peach cobbler a la mode. And I think there's just enough vanilla to top that with. I'll just have a small scoop of vanilla. Peach cobbler a la mode. And let's give it a try. Yum. I'm going for the crust. Mmm. That is delicious. One more bite. Mm. Yum. So just to recap, we made a crazy crust peach cobbler this evening. We started with a peach mixture with a can of peaches, a half a cup of sugar, and a stick of butter, cinnamon, nutmeg to taste. Let that cook down until it forms a syrup. And then for the crust, we used a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, and a cup of milk. Mix that together, and then we added a stick of butter to our baking dish, and poured the crust into the baking dish, and the peaches on top, cooked it at 325 until the top was golden brown. Yummy, delicious, quick, simple, easy, crazy crust peach cobbler. I hope you try it. If you do, let me know how you like it. I'm going to try and link the recipe in the description, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.